You may be asking yourself, so what's the difference between sentry and logs? Imagine a log file recording every event. Sometimes those events are errors, but many times they're simply informational. Sentry is fundamentally different because it focuses on exceptions and application crashes. Logs are useful for tracking the flow of events, understanding how applications behave over time, and investigating issues. The details captured in logs are particularly useful for compliance and security purposes, but the large amounts of information make it difficult to understand context around errors and crashes. Sentry works alongside your logging infrastructure, capturing the critical errors you need to act on to troubleshoot issues with your application. Sentry surfaces the most relevant error debugging information, like tags, your source code in the stack trace, and how an exception in one project relates to other projects in your code base. Another key difference between Sentry and logging is what data is stored. Logging is meant to capture the entirety of your data, which can be a lot of data. On the other hand, Sentry only stores relevant contextual details and reduces duplicate information by grouping events around specific errors. Furthermore, unless otherwise specified, Sentry won't store events that aren't related to an error. The TLDR is that Sentry stores exactly the information you need to be able to debug errors. So let's recap. Traditional logging captures all data, which is useful for compliance and security audits. While Sentry specializes in actionable insights for error debugging, because it's not just about capturing errors, it's about understanding and resolving them too.